Well, here we go. Let's just jump right into it, guys. My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is my spoiler review for Terminator Dark Fate. I made a non-spoiler review, and I tried hard to be objective. I tried hard to just talk about it in a non-spoiler fashion, and and give reasons for why I didn't love it as much as I wanted to, but also explain why the movie's fine the way it is. But now that I get to talk about spoilers, I have watched Jeremy John's spoiler talk on this movie, and I agree a thousand percent that I could not get into this movie after they killed John Connor. They killed John Connor in the first, like, three or four minutes into this movie. And I loved the de-aging. I love that it's young Sarah Connor, that it's young Edward Furlong. They brought Edward Furlong back just to de-age him. He doesn't even say anything. You just see him, and he looks like John Connor, at least John Connor from T2. So that was great, and I thought to myself, wow, we could do this. We could make the real T2 uh, sequel. Uh, if you were going to do it, I never thought that T2 need a sequel especially after rise of the machines i just thought yeah we definitely didn't need to ever make a sequel to t2 but if we were gonna do it and if we can use this de-aging process and have the original cast and do stuff with them that takes place almost soon after judgment day but no they killed them off randomly another t800 shows up out of nowhere the de-aging on young Arnold looked great as well. But, man, this was out of left field. I know it was supposed to be a shocker. I know it was supposed to be this wiping the slate clean thing that I read in an interview with Tim Miller, the director, who apparently he thought this was a great idea. I think Jim James Cameron, who produced this movie, and I think him and Tim Miller argued over this. I saw... Uh, quotes of James Cameron saying that him and Tim Miller clashed hard in the writer's room over this movie. I would have to think that James Cameron was pissed about this. Had to have. Because you don't watch T2. Because I watched T2. I rewatched T2 right before I watched Dark Fate. You watch T2 and how important John Connor is and how that whole movie is about saving this kid's life and making sure that he lives. And and you get invested, you get into it, you get, uh, you feel for Sarah Connor, you feel for everything that's involved. I know that they prevent Judgment Day. I know that they do save three billion lives. I know that they accomplish their mission. That doesn't mean that I want to see or that I think it's it's acceptable to kill this character off in the first few minutes, completely negating what we just have gone through in T2. It really is like Newt from Aliens when she is this little girl that Sigourney Weaver, Ripley, wants to save. That's this whole big thing. And then we do save her. We go through hell to save her from the queen alien and whatnot. And then in Alien 3, they just kill her in the opening credits. And I hate Alien 3, and that reason is a big reason for it. So it's almost like, well, why don't I hate this movie? Man, I, I trust me, I'm getting closer. The more I think about it, the more I sit with it, the more that it's in my head that I can't believe they just brought these characters back and brought back John Connor just to kill him. I know that they've tried everything to do with John Connor, uh, Rise of the Machines. They made John Connor this uninteresting guy because Judgment Day doesn't happen, so he just sort of sits there and doesn't do anything, right? And then finally it does happen. Christian Bale played John Connor, and he's more of the John Connor, I think, that we were at least uh, led to believe would exist in the future. And then in Part 5, Geniasis, you see Jason Clark as John Connor, who they turn evil. Skynet grabs a hold of him and turns him evil. And man, was that one of the dumbest decisions ever. I thought it was one of the dumbest decisions ever until I see that they just killed him off in this movie. So, wow. I I am dumbfounded. I am upset. I am angry. It, it almost negates everything else. It was hard for me to get into these characters. It was hard for me to be completely fair 
to the Danny character, to the Grace character. I mean, the actresses were fine. I just didn't care, though. It just felt like they wanted to get rid of the old and bring in their new characters and have them be the face of the franchise, and I never quite bought it as well as I wanted to. The movie's not horrible. The movie's not even the worst sequel in the franchise. I still say Rise of the Machines is the worst one out of all of them followed by Geniasis, but still, this one, it's like, I'd rather watch Salvation, <laughs> and people hate Salvation, and I watch this movie, and I don't know why, sure, it doesn't have Linda Hamilton, sure, it doesn't really have Arnold in it, in, in, a, in a real capacity, but still, I, I don't like the story decisions that this movie decided to take, and I didn't care as much about Gabriel Luna's uh, version of the Terminator. Just felt like a, a whole big retread of Robert Patrick from the second movie. A lot of it felt like a retread. A lot of it felt like territories that we've been through. And I just I wasn't as impressed. I wasn't angry. Uh, uh, I mean, I was angry. I was definitely angry about the John Connor stuff. But I wasn't angry about. The, uh, the action sequences, I wasn't angry about the CGI stuff and whatnot, although I miss when we didn't use so much CGI. The Terminator franchise uh, relies so heavily on CGI nowadays. I miss the days of the first two films where it was more practical or was more groundbreaking. Now it's just old hat. Yeah, the more I talk about this, I'm going to sound like I'm ranting on it. I'm going to sound like I hated it. And in, in some ways, I did. I, I, I hated parts of this movie anyways guys yeah they shouldn't have done it they shouldn't have killed john connor like they did i think it was a huge huge mistake a big waste let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or if you disagree if you love this movie if you think it's one of the best if you think it's worthy to be a sequel to judgment day thanks for watching like comment subscribe later